Hello guys, uh, welcome po ulit sa ating channel and we're back with our original genre which is providing educational information and uh, yeah, today we will answer a million peso question uh, but before that, I'm going to read a letter sent through my email by someone from Bohol Island State University I just want to show it to you, ah, baka sabihin nyo na hindi totoo. I just reprinted it so that um, it will be legible, no? Uh, madaling basahin. So here, I'm going to read it. Um, yeah, I will not read the full name. I have seen the, I have seen the full name in uh, in her email ad, but um, since uh, this person has been using a pen name, then I will use the pen name also because maybe the reason why she's using a pen name is just he, she wants to maintain her privacy. Being a doctor also, I know how privacy means to everyone. So I've been, uh, when I was the CEO of a big hospital, I've been implementing data privacy for 10 years now. So more than 10 years. So rest assured that guys, if you send me your letters, uh, whatever it is that you're going to send me. Uh, I will always keep your uh, data safe. So here's the letter. Dear Professor A. Uh, para kong X-Men, ano? Uh, nagkataon lang na siya ay Professor X. At least mas nauna ang A kaysa X na. No? I am a marketing student at Bohol Island State University and we are required to submit research work this semester by our professor. I guess marami nakaka-relate sa atin, ano? Yet even until now, I have no idea where to start. As I am a fan of Million Peso Question Channel, well, thank you, thank you, no? Uh, you're a fan of Million Peso, uh, you're a fan of Million Peso Question Channel. And fond of your practicality, would you help me have a research idea? May you feature this in your next million peso question episode. Thank you for your help. Your follower, Shena M. Okay, Shena. Uh, marami po nagpapadala sa atin ng letters actually, guys. Um, I have been giving you my page, no? the Palawan Interdisciplinary Research and Development. So... Uh, yeah, you can send your inquiries there, and uh, you can. I can also, if you ask, I will also give you my email address so that you can send your emails and questions. No, so maraming na papadala sa atin, and uh, I, I guess this was the first thing na this was the first letter na talaga na feature natin. Here's a million peso question: How to have a research idea? But before anything else, please do this. Okay, so another thing. Um, kung may makita kayong ads, sana Miss Shena and lahat na manonood nitong channel na to or makakatanggap ng information na to, huwag niyong skip Please, don't skip the ads. Ito ay tulong nyo naman sa amin kasi Million Peso Question Channel is, a, is an independent vlog channel. So wala naman siyang funding sa kung ano bang uh, institution or ano bang entities just uh, an independent channel so please don't skip ads so that we can sustain our operation also so guys um by the way just want to inform you that million peso question channel has celebrated its first anniversary no? last September no? so uh, thank you very much sa pagtangkilik uh, may ishare lang ako sa inyo yung first episode kung panoorin nyo po yung ating first episode babalikan po natin yung double uh, vista o progressive ano ang nararapat sa sa inyo uh, kung titignan nyo yung dalawang babae doon na naging nakasama natin this, they are actually my students um Jubel Bakani and uh, and uh, Rigi Bakal uh, Gaurana. So, uh, mga Rigi and uh, Jubel, ha, talagang uh, nag-break na ako sa ating 
data privacy ng konti, isinira ko lang pangalan nyo. I'm just trying to share it to our viewers because I'm really, really proud of you. Kasi si Rigi at si Jubel po ay kumraduate na po, no? And guys, si Jubel po ay magna cum laude. However you pronounce it, magna cum laude, magna cum laude. Jubel did it. So, Jubel, galing mo. Congratulations. Rigi, gabi ka rin si Rigi. So, galing nyo. They are both marketing students, no? At ngayon, no? Namamayagpag ang kanilang career. So, shoutout sa kay Rigi at sa kay Jubel are two resource persons during the time, no? Sa first episode natin. Pagdating, pagbalik ko sa Puerto Princesa, let's meet and let's have dinner together, ha? Okay, guys? Okay, ladies pala? Before going on further, let me give you an encouragement, no? By the way, ang inyong lingkod po ay also a researcher, no? I had been doing research actually since I was 11 years old. Um, nung uh, grade 5 ako, as a matter of fact, when I graduated in elementary, naka-award po ako from uh, former President Ferdinand E. Marcos. Naka-receive ako ng medal from him uh, with the name uh, Ten Outstanding Young Scientist no? in the country, Toys. No? And later, um, when I was uh, 14 years old, nakapag-defend din ako ng aking... Uh, Invention again, research pa rin ang kailangan doon sa University of the Philippines, Los Banos. And sa future po tayo ay binigyan din po ng award ng uh, in stay pa noong time na yun, eh, which is DOST na yun ngayon, National Science and Technology Authority pa yan sila noon. So I'll just give you this advice now. Huwag po tayong matakot sa word na research. Ang research po ay hindi po nakakatakot at hindi po mahirap. Tandaan nyo guys ha. Yung mga tao na nagsasabi na mahirap ang research at tinatakot kayo ng mga teachers niya, ng mga professors niya, dadadaan kayo sa butas ng karayom, yan mismo ay walang alam. di ba? Alam niyo kung bakit? Those people who know how to play the piano, if you'll ask them if playing the piano is difficult, they will answer you, no, it's not. Playing the piano is easy. But people who don't know how to play the piano, of course, they will tell you, Playing piano is very, very difficult. I hope you get the point, guys, no? So, since ako, maruno ako sa research, hindi siya mahirap. At kayo, pag matuto na rin kayo, hindi rin mahirap. So, ako naman, ang aking purpose dito sa MPQ, sa million piece of question, is to mentor people. So, okay, um, bakit sinasabi ko na ang research hindi mahirap? Because you're doing it every day, di ba? You're doing research every day by the moment you wake up, and do your all activities. So the moment you wake up, what do you do? You go to your uh, kitchen, kung nasa boarding house ka, you go to your kitchen, at mag-isip ka kung ano ang dapat mong gawin, pag, kung ano ang dapat mong kakainin, ano ang dapat mong lulutuin. Kapag ikaw ay nag-experiment sa ulam na lulutuin, kung ilan ang ingredients na ilagay, kung ano yung ilagay, that is already experimentation. So experimentation is part of process. By the moment you choose your clothes. Kasi, di ba, pag nakapila yung clothes na yan, uh, for example, meron, meron kang damit na uh, uh, red, orange, yellow, green, indigo, blue, violet. So, nakapila yan dyan. Tapos, meron ka rin patalon dito na same color. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Huwag mong sabihin na ang combination mo araw-araw pareho. So every day you're doing experimentation. Sana bang magandang combination, ano bang magandang combination? That is already research, di ba? Nag-experiment ka eh. Nagkakaroon ka ng comparative study. Uh, I, I just could remember this now, pero I just want to share this to you. One time there was a lady in uh, one of the small town. No? Sabi niya, uh, magluluto daw siya ng banana cube. Mag, mag, uh, magtitinda daw siya ng banana cube. Ang dami kasi daw saging nila na produkto. So, nagluto siya ng banana cube ng prepare. And then one week later, he said, she said, I will stop. Kasi nalulugi ako, hindi naubos yung banana cube. So ang sabi ko sa kanya, Tay, bakit hindi kayo mag-research uh, muna? Bako kayo mag-start, hindi kayo mag-feasibility study. Sabi niya, hindi naman kasi kami pareho sa inyo na nag-aaral, na matino, na, na, na maitaas ang pinag-aralan. 
hindi naman namin alam yung mga research. Sabi ko, hindi naman kailangan na yung research ay nakasulat talaga. No? Uh, pwedeng umikot ka lang at hanapin mo muna kung saan. Saan ba pupunta? Saan ba dumadaan yung mga estudyante paglabas sa school? Anong oras ba lumalabas ang mga estudyante sa school? Anong oras ba lumalabas ang empleyado ng gobyerno sa kanila trabaho? So, sabi ko, that is research. I, I hope guys nakuha yung point, no? I mean, that is research already. Hindi lang nakasulat. So, you're doing it already. So, again, going back to the lady, she did it for one week, then after a week, She cook again. She she went to another place. Doon na siya nagpo-poison ng kanyang mesa. And after a week later, nagkita kami. Sabi ko, kamusta? Sabi niya, grabe. Hindi na ako makakanda, magkakanda o gaga. Kasi dalawang beses na ako nagluluto sa isang araw. Kulang pa. You see, that's the real, that's the result of having a research. So, usually, usually research answers questions or answers our needs. So, guys, tandaan niyo po yan. Research is not a difficult thing. Dapat i-condition mo lang yung mind mo ito ito. Okay, so what I'm about to tell you is simply out of the box, no? It is not found in textbooks. That's why maybe some of your professors may sneer on it, no? May, may say that um, it's not reliable. But what the heck, no? The most important thing is makakaproduce ka ng research work. And uh, ito naman po ay hindi pa ang format. Pinag-usapan natin dito is just the first part of your research. Kasi in everything, the most imp important thing or ang pinakamahirap sa lahat ay pagkakaroon ng idea to start with. No? So ito naman ang nanap natin dito. Even when you, uh, hindi lang sa research, no? even when you write a book, ako, when I write a book, when I write a song, when I write a play, nahirapan ako mag-start kapag wala akong idea. But, when the idea comes in, at okay na ako doon, madali na lang yung next step. So, ito naman sa atin, idea pa lang. No? So, wag nating sabihin na tama o mali ito. Kasi ito naman ay research idea. And there is always a gap between practical or the application and the theories. No? nung sa books natin. Kasi lahat naman, no? that is why may, may pagkakaiba yung practitioner at professional. So, just to give you a short uh, joke, ano, sabi ng isang, ano, ano na ko sa hospital, sabi ng isang pasyente, Doc, sino po yung mga available natin na mga doctors ngayon? Sabi ko, ah, yung mga nagpa-practice natin ngayon ng mga doctors dyan ay meron tayong mga 200 plus na in-house, sabi niya. Ay, Dok, ayoko nung nagpa-practice. Gusto ko yung doctor na talaga. Um, when we say practitioner or nagpa-practice, ibig sabihin po ay ito po yung mga tao na yun ang trabaho na nila. Ha? Sa, gusto ko lang ano sa inyo, eh, sabihin sa inyo to Kasi there's a difference between a professional or a practitioner, no? There's a difference between a practitioner and a professional. Like for example, if you're a research uh, professional, ang alam mo lang kung anong gagawin, paano gagawin sa mga research. But if you are a research practitioner, yun na talaga ang kinabubuhay mo. So, uh, kung saan ang patutuhanan na yan eh. So, ang inyong lingkod naman po ay CEO po ng Palawan Interdisciplinary Research and Development. So, siguro naman, ay may kay na rin tayo na mag-suggest sa inyo. Again, practicality is always very important. So, here are the three things that one must do in order to have a research idea. So, number one, no? Number one is know your passion or interest. So, ibig sabihin nun, Alamin mo kung anong hilig mo, kung anong gusto mo, kung ano yung mga bagay na uh, uh, nag-i-excite sa'yo. Kasi if you chose a topic or a subject na hindi mo naman gusto, it's just like buying a food or ordering a food na hindi mo naman kakainin. So ano mangyayari? Itatago mo sa gilid at mapapanis lang po yan. So that's why iba hindi nakaka-continue ng kanilang research kasi hindi naman talaga nila passion, no? So 
again that's the first part know your passion or interest so it could be cooking talking to people travel sports music or others no etc no so we have uh, millions of passions uh, kung anong gusto mo yan ang una mong alamin know your passion or interest okay pangalawa okay ito pangalawa ha? go to a place where you can meet people with the same passion as yours then observe o pumunta ka doon sa lugar kung saan may mga tao ang nakapareho sa iyo ng hilig and then observe no i-emphasize ko muna yung word na observe ha? when you say observe or observation it entails using your five senses so ano ba mga five senses natin sense of sight sense of smell sense of touch sense of hearing, sense of taste. And of course, siguro, dagdagan natin, uh, sometimes it, it's, it pays to include a common sense in your research. No? Kasi, dyan nawawalan minsan yung theory siya, sa common sense. No? Kasi minsan mayroon namang, uh, like for example, sabi ng isang researcher, bakit hindi natin gamitin yung hydrogen ng uh, tubig dagat para uh, maging power source ng Pilipinas. Sabi ko naman sa kanila, I, it's just like uh, getting a fruit from a mango tree na andun sa dulo. When in fact, kung dito lang sa iba ba, may nakikita ka naman, ano yon? Yung solar, yung wind. Hindi mo na kailangan, uh, grabe ang, uh, hindi na kailangan ng mga sophisticated na procedures para ma-convert into energy. Kasi ang, ang solar or ang sun's uh, rays, is already an energy and wind also produces energy so yan common sense kailangan din natin yan so going back now you go to a place where um, uh, you can see people who who uh, have the same passion as yours and observe no so you must visit again if you're a musician if you love music you can uh, you may visit music instrument stores music studios, music schools, churches, concert halls, opera houses, etc. No? Um, pag pumunta ka sa music stores, makikita mo, ito pala yung mga musical instrument. Makikita mo yung trend kung mag-observe ka. Ito yung palaging uh, binibili ng mga tao. Ma mas marami ang nabibentang gitara, for example, sa lugar namin. Or marami ang nabibentang uh, keyboard or piano. No? Sa sa Iba-iba. Iba-iba yung nakikita natin. Like for example, if you go to Cebu City, mas marami yung gustong bumili ng gitara doon because ang mga Cebuanos ay mahilig sa gitara. Now, if you go naman sa music studios, makikita mo naman kung anong ginagawa ng mga mga musicians doon. Doon, mga musicians talaga. Doon. Sa music schools naman, ma-observe mo kung anong paano sila nagtuturo. So, makakuha ka naman ng idea doon kung ah, Uh, music teaching ang aking cover uh, ang aking research sa churches no i i, I uh, advise na pwede kang pumunta doon sa mga churches ng 70 Adventists no kasi mahilig yan ang 70 Adventists um, sa choirs no na talagang kung sa ano pa di pyesa talaga yan sila eh hindi tulad sa ibang choir na widow-widow lang sa kanila di pyesa yan kahit nagpa-piano sa kanila din nota talaga yan So mga concert halls, you attend concerts, no? And opera houses, kung meron sa atin dito. Uh, sa Manila, meron tayong mga CCP, meron tayong Miralco Theater. So, i i so you go there, no? Para may, may ma-idea ka na, may ma-create ka na ideas, no? Next is, go to the internet and browse for related subjects. So, kahit ibigay mo namin sa inyo na bawal, pero gano'n naman talaga ngayon na, hindi na natin mapabawalan yung mga estudyante o yung mga tao. Kasi bahagi na ng buhay natin yung internet. Eh. So, wag na nating uh, magbawalan. Sabi ko nga sa mga estudyante ko ng online, gagawa tayo ng essay. Kasi alam ko naman, kahit sabihin ko sa inyo, na hindi nyo bumuksan yung notes nyo kapag nag-quiz tayo ng identification or Uh, multiple choice, bubuksan nyo naman talaga yan. Kasi nasa bahay lang kayo. So ito, uh, gagawin natin, kahit bawalan nyo pa sa internet, turuan na lang natin, i-guide na lang natin. It's just like yung 
ang anak ko na lalaki, palagi niyang ginagalaw yung piano sa bahay. No? Sabi ko, ah, sabi ng wife ko, hindi sawayin mo yan. Sabi ko, hindi. I think he was uh, seven years, uh, five years old, uh, six years old at that time, up to seven. No? Sabi ko, i-enroll na lang natin sa isang uh, piano lesson para gagamitin niya ng maayos yung piano. So yun, parang ganun, iga-guide na lang, iga-guide ko na lang kayo para hindi naman uh, magamit, para magamit nyo naman ang internet na maayos. Okay? So, go to the internet and browse for related subjects. So, here's a practical tip, ano? Browse for, like for example, cooking. So, you can browse for scholarly research papers about food business or scholarly research paper about cooking. So, yan, pwede nyo yung uh, hanapin. Ngayon, uh, kung dito ka naman sa uh, music, no? If it's music that you love, then you may browse uh, scholarly papers about music industry or scholarly papers about music teaching. So, ako personally, sinubukan kong mag-browse, no? At ito po yung lumabas sa internet. Actually, marami. Pero ito yung isa sa nakapag, uh, nagustuhan ko, no? Innovation and diversity in the popular music industry from 1969 to 1990. So, that was a research made by Paul Lopes or Paul Lopez, I don't know how the, you read this uh, name. It's in an American Sociological Review, Volume 57, Number 1, February 1992, no? pages 56 to 71. So, published by American Sociological Association. So, yan po ang lumabas. Ngayon, kung ikaw nagre-research, ngayon lang, saan mo, uy, can I improve this one? Pwede mo yung improve, Michelle, no? Gagawin mo yan ngayon, papalitan mo lang. Innovation and diversity in the popular music industry, 1990... Innovation and diversity in popular... In innovation... Innovation and Diversity in the Popular Music Industry, 1990 to 2022. Okay, so, sa'yo na yan, Shena. Shena M na yan, pangalan mo na yan. Kasi, iba naman yung research si Paul Lopes eh. Ga si Paul Lopes, gagawin mo ngayon siyang, ilagay mo ngayon siya sa review of related literature. So, doon mo na siya. Pero ito, sa'yo na talaga to Alam mo kung bakit? Kung ay kay Paul Lopes is 1969, uh, to 1990, yes, of course, there were changes in the music industry. Lalo naman nung 1990 to 2022. Kasi sa amin nung 90s, alam ko ang sikat namin na music doon, yung new wave eh, new wave. So, yan, yung mga uh, Backstreet Boys, no? Um, mga, yes, uh, New Kids in the Block. Ngayon, ano ba ang ano nyo? Meron na kayo mga BTS eh. At iba na yung music nyo ngayon. Uh, parang may auto-tune na yung mga uh, music, uh, music nyo. At dubstep, also na po yan ngayon. So, yan, yeah, no? You can do research on that. Sa'yo na yan. Ay, ibig sabihin, galing doon sa topic na yun, nagkaroon ka ng idea, inayos mo lang. So, to sum things up, no? Okay. Balikan po natin. Uh, how to have research idea. So, ito po yun, ha? O, balikan na natin, isummarize na natin three things. One, know your passion or interest. Two, go to a place where you can meet people with the same passion as yours, then observe. And three, go to the internet and browse for related subjects. I hope that answers your million peso question. Uh, Michelle, thank you for the letter, the inquiry. It's very important. Marami pong matutulungan itong question mo na binigay sa, sa amin. And of course, uh, shout out pala sa mga students ng Bohol Island State University, mga marketing students, mga business students, mga social studies, mga uh, hospitality management students at marami pang iba no? yung mga students na gumagawa ng research. I hope this uh, episode 
could help you generate research ideas no so if you have comments questions inquiries and uh, other details na gusto malaman please uh, kindly uh, write your comment below or you can actually send it to Palawan Interdisciplinary Research and Development C19 o nakikita niyo po yan po yung ating page or you can uh, send it through our email pird.c19 at gmail.com para uh, kung may letter kayo pwede natin basahin later or gagawin natin million peso questions so once again I invite you to, to subscribe uh, okay like and share sa mga friends nyo na gusto gusto nyo rin matulungan and of course uh, again hiningi ko po sa inyo na kapag may makita kayong ads don't skip the ads no? kasi yan po ang nakakatulong sa atin upang maipatuloy natin itong ating channel so thank you very much and God bless everyone Loving, loving, loving on me, eh, loving on me.